Why are dogs so overwhelmingly loving to their families? Is it because they're inwardly trying to earn their next meal or handful of treats? Does raising a dog from a pup train them to love us? Or is it because we share an uncommon trait that we call feelings? Or is it a chemical reaction to our mutual existence together? Research into why dogs are so loving has been booming. There was a time not so long ago when science told us that dogs, despite their appearance and behavior, did not have feelings as we know them. In other words, dog owners' eyes, experiences and evidence to the contrary didn't make any difference against the scientific findings of the day. Science has come leaps and bounds in this category since those days through technology mixed with purposeful testing and investigation. Today, there's a growing consensus among scientists that dogs do indeed have feelings, in fact a large array of feelings that we share with them. Though there are still some that cling to the notion that dogs are not capable of such a thing. What they found is that dogs share basic and simple emotions such as love, hate, joy, fear, etc., but do not bear more sophisticated emotions such as pride, guilt or shame. I'm not here to say they're 100% right about that, I'm just being the messenger. Chemical evidence is brought to us by the love hormone. Have you ever heard of oxytocin? If you haven't, it's simply a hormone found in the brain that is released by specific criteria. We have it and dogs have it, the love hormone. Its nickname is the love hormone because it is released when experiencing situations that promote love physical attraction on one side of the spectrum to a mother and child to the joy felt from being with a close friend. Scientists have found that dogs release this hormone into their systems when in the company of someone it likes, such as a beloved owner, or when spoken to in a voice that it understands to be a friendly and loving voice. Subsequently, people release the same hormone when interacting with their dogs. While looking into this research and digging deep, I noticed a caveat to the release of this love drug that is released in the brain of the dog that is said to allow them to show love for their humans. This caveat denotes that there are feelings that need to be there to work with in the first place. Dogs see a parent, friend and leader in you. There are three separate distinctions that a dog can make with its humans, all depending on where in the dog's life the human entered in – a parent, friend or leader. When a dog is brought up in a home from puppyhood, all three titles can be held by one person, and all three in their own way denotes a level of love shared, even through the leader category. These initial bonds are the aforementioned caveats that lead to the release of oxytocin in the dog. This is why the love hormone is released with specific people rather than just anyone. This is especially true depending on the breed of dog we're talking about. Some breeds are completely aloof with strangers regardless of how nice the stranger is to the dog, but are mushes with their families. Other breeds pick a favorite person within a family and will show extra love and attention to that person more so than everyone else. All this shows that there's more going on than only seeking a chemical reward from human interaction. When a dog sees you as a friend, a parent or a pack leader, as Caesar Milan would say, you become the object of its affection. Dogs show unconditional, boundless love. We know dogs do indeed love and now understand that it is scientifically being proven rather than just arguing the point, as once would have been considered but they don't just display the beneficial parts of love like the touchy-feely, heartwarming moments, but all of the less thought-about areas that have made the lovingness and loyalty of dogs legendary. For example, their willingness to place themselves between trouble and their owners. How many stories are out there where a dog met its end defending its owners against human attackers or other, much larger predatory animals such as bears and the like? Would they do the same for a neighbor or anyone else that it considers a stranger? Maybe a few, but generally not. Dogs love unconditionally and most breeds love deeply enough to die for their loved ones. The question at hand were the simple answer. We started this video with the question, why are dogs so loving? 
We've talked about how they love and some of the different things at play to prove that they do love. The answer to why could simply be that we are their entire universe. No matter where they go or have ever been, there we are. For thousands of years, humans have been entwined with dogs and they with us. We are their source of everything they need to survive, and we provide all of the answers to their questions, at least when we understand what they're asking. Have you ever had a dog that showed you unconditional love while going through a difficult experience? If you have, I'd love to hear all about it in the comments section. As I always like to remind you, please don't forget to leave me a like and hit the subscribe button to get a heads up when we release our next video. Thanks for watching. Check out my other videos here.